अभ्यानतिरंधस्यानशलाकया चक्षुर्मील तस्म श्रीगुर वंशाकूग्रस्य कृपा सिंधुवच पति पावन नमो महाबदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय गुरवे गौरचंद्राय नित्यलीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु भक्ति प्रज्ञान के इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय शिक्षा गुरु ओम विष्णु पार्षद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज आई एम हैप्पी दैट और फिफ्थ डे टुडे इज फिफ्थ डे इन क्लास लाइट सेवन डे वे हैव पास्ड वेरी ओके एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग ऑन वेल टुडे गोवर्धन पूजा अन्नकूट पूजा विथ वैदिक रीति एंड मंथ अभिषेक कीर्तन गो पूजा ब्राह्मण पूजा गुरु पूजा एवरीथिंग टुडे वेरी एक्सीलेंट व्हेन आई कम हियर आई रिमेंबर ओ गोवर्धन ही इंडियन यमुना रिवर रिवर इज हियर अवधूत दत्तात्रेय संवाद अप टू Those who want to do bhajan, they should remember how pigeon was engaged in his wife, children, and for what became he could not see his death. He himself jumped into the trap of the hunter. Ah, trap. of hunter and he left his life so always remember this and the hunter became very happy collected them in his tribe keep in his soldier and went and cooked so remember this don't be attached Don't be attached. And then he telling, oh, as if all living beings, without wings or without any effort. and they want to check but even dukh sufferings coming and sitting on our head the mid test will have to suffer so where ever you live oh 
those who know what is sukh and what is dukh, what is happiness and suffering. They should not do any prayatna effort for them. If sukh is there, happiness is there for previous life, or oh, it will come automatically. Tat prayaso no kartabhyo. You should not do anything for them. Automatically, all kinds of sukh will come. And he has given, Krishna has given, Dattatreya has given an example of Python. One, one place he lives, nothing doing any effort. And automatically if comes any animal or anything in front and he and he is satisfied. For so many days, he will not try it. Automatically, if coming, okay. So a sadhu should be like that. Always engaging their senses in Krishna consciousness. What we have seen, teach from <coughs> Samudra, Osha, 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 Krishna Krishna Bhakta Tadavakta so one of the 24 gurus is the ocean because in the rainy season when so much rain comes and the rivers are swollen and they flow into the ocean, the ocean never goes up, it remains constant. In the dry season when the rivers become very small, when the rivers become very small, the ocean also does not shrink. In the same way the ocean is an example of a saintly person who despite the accumulation of great material enjoyment, great facilities, he's never changed. And in the absence of those great facilities, he's also never changed. And last time I was talking with Pran Kishoparu, <laughs> and he was saying, when he first came to Gurudev, there was nothing. All were very poor, and now, at that time, Gurudev was the same, and now despite so many disciples coming, so much wealth, he remains completely unchanged. So good ever is one example of notion. Super Kamandra is telling that it became overflow and make destruction. Then, this two, this three, Deva Maya, Tadabhavai Ajitendriya, Pradopita Patantanthe, Tasyagna Patangupat. You, can you? You don't remember. We can check the book. We can check the book. One who has failed to control his senses immediately feels attraction upon seeing a woman's form which is created by the illusory energy of the Supreme Lord. Indeed, when the woman speaks with enticing words, smiles coquettishly, and moves her body sensuously, his mind is immediately captured, and thus he falls blindly into the darkness of material existence, 
just as the moth maddened by the fire rushes blindly into its flames. So here the instruction is given how the moth, Patanga, is one of the gurus because the moth is very attracted by the flame. So the moth comes around the flame. At night, if there's any flame, moths will come. They will circle around, circle around, and then fly into the flame. And the moth is finished. So the conditioned soul in the material world. For man, the form of woman is maya. And also for the woman, man is also maya. And there is such a strong attraction to be with the opposite sex. But because of this very powerful attraction, because of trying to satisfy this attraction, one becomes destroyed. One can become destroyed in so many ways, materially and especially spiritually. And one will forget all about the goal of life, which is to cultivate Krishna consciousness and engage in bhajan. Sannyasi, Brahmachari, and Brahmacharinis also be very careful how that fatinga moth this is flame, fire. That is Rupa. And at once he attached and goes circling and jumps. What is the meaning? If he will not be careful, that ladies are Daivi Maya, especially very beautiful more than lady and gentlemen. Very. And for them, oh, men are so, so you should always be very, very careful. Also, I see that two kinds of Bardashram, Smartha and Deju. Srila Prabhupada. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur and others. Also, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj tried to establish Varnasham Dharma. So we should be satisfied by if Grihasti you are with one lady or one husband. In life, you should not change divorce, any husband or wife. This is Varnasham Dharma. What is favorable for us, we should take. And what is unfavorable, we should reject. It will be helpful in our Krishna consciousness. So those Murha, Murkha, foolish persons, Kamini, Kanchan, Gold and Kamini, Alankar, so many ornaments, and Nasfar, Nasfar means perishable things in this world, they are attached. And always they want to test it, they are fully. They should not do. Tokam is Tokam Prasid Graha. So, announce are the sannyasi. Be like. Bumblebees. They should go to Grihastasram after their supper. 
And go to so many. He should not be burdened on a grihastha. And from so many houses, little, little, like bumblebees, collects honey <coughs> from so many flowers. So sannyasi should be like that. He should not be burdened on the <coughs> So I have learned from Madhumakhi, bumblebees, that a sannyasi should not collect for evening or for next day. Next day. For one, one time only and be satisfied. Other if he will <coughs> collect money or anything, then what will be <coughs> Madhuhari? The honey, honey collector <coughs> will come and take you like with their house. Beehive. 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 And keeps in his cloth and twist. And then takes it. Don't be like that. <coughs> and then Jadapi Jivati Bhichu Nash Prasid Dharva Midi. Thirty. Who will tell me? You can. Padapi yuvatim bikshur nas prishet daravim api sprishan kariva badhyeta karinya anga sangata. A, a saintly person should never touch a young girl. In fact, he should not even let his foot touch a wooden doll in the shape of a woman. By bodily contact with a woman, he will surely be captured by illusion just as the elephant is captured by the she-elephant due to his desire to touch her body. Yeah, there's another verse in pertaining. I, I will tell, but there's one more verse. Then the next verse goes on to say, Nadigachet striyam pragya karhichin mrityam atmanaha baladikai sahanyeta gajair anyar gajohu yata. A man possessing intelligent discrimination should not, under any circumstances, try to exploit the beautiful form of a woman for his sex gratification. Just as a, an elephant trying to enjoy a she-elephant is killed by other bull elephants also enjoying her company, so similarly one trying to enjoy a lady's company can at any moment be killed by her other lovers who are stronger than he. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha So these examples being given by the Avadut are illustrating how the attraction of the senses for the sense objects, the f attraction to form, the attraction to taste, now the attraction to touch, so in the material world, the living entities, they are very much attached to these objects of form, taste, touch, smell, and so forth. Uh, but they don't understand that as their senses become attached, uh, become attracted first of all, and then they become attached to them, then this is the cause of their destruction, actually. We already saw, the, uh, heard the example of the moth. Because of, because of sight, because of rupa, because of form and the, and the flickering of the fire, it becomes attracted and then it becomes killed. 
So, in the same way, here is the example being given of an elephant. An elephant in the forest is very difficult to capture. But at the same time, if the hunter knows the process of capturing the elephant, very, very easy. And the method that they utilize is they bring one she-elephant. So this she-elephant is standing at a distance from the male elephant, and what they do is they dig a huge hole, and they cover it with some grass. And the elephant, the male elephant sees the she-elephant, she and now he becomes aroused in his desire to touch her. So he goes forward very quickly with uh, no other consideration, and boom, he falls down into the pit. And in this way, he becomes captured. So in the same way, uh, in this material world, because of the attraction to touch, therefore, persons, they think, oh, if I gratify my sense of touch with the opposite sex, oh, this will satisfy me. But actually what happens? They become captured. They become entangled. So many examples are being given here about the attraction between the sexes. Why? Because this is actually the most powerful force in this material world. And it is also the most binding force. Uh, because it creates a knot within the heart. And the conditioned soul identifies very, very strongly with this false and, and actually illusory relationship that they've created. So, therefore, the Avadut is saying that he's learning from all these different aspects of nature how he can cultivate this detachment. And he's learning from the mistakes of these different living entities, like, like the elephant. He also gave the example that an elephant becomes attracted to another she-elephant. And, uh, in order to attain that she-elephant, then he has to fight with the other opposing male elephants. In the same way within this material world, we can read in the newspapers on any day of the week how people are being killed because of lust. One lover becomes attracted to a, another lady, and uh, that lady happens to have a husband. She has an illicit relationship, and then, then the husband finds out, and then he comes and he murders uh, this uh, illicit lover. And innumerable cases like this, because of the attraction of lust within this world. So by the sense of touch, especially, someone can be captured. And then the next example is being given. Especially our Sannyasi Brahmacharya, they should be very careful. <coughs> it may be like Hathini, Sifani, elephant. Ladies may come and attract, <coughs> and he will fall down, <coughs> give Sannyas, everything. And then, by that affection, attachment, he thinks what I have done are okay. No? I have left sannyas no harm. It is okay. We should be just. But why Ramanuj, Madhvachar, Vishnu Swami, Nimbadita? And Vishnu Swami generation, oh, lots and lots of sannyasi. In our Sampradaya, Madhvendra Puripad, Ishwar Puripad, was sannyasi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, also sannyasi. After that, there are so many sannyasi. Prabhupada met Tridanda sannyasi, still coming. Ramanu Sampadaya in our Sampadaya. So, <coughs> I renounce is very good. Very good. It will come up to the right. Hmm? Now, <coughs> try to be Jitendriya, to conquer your senses, especially this tongue. It has no bone. Huh? No back. No Not control. She can tell anything to anyone. So we should try to control. 
if your Rashanandriya is controlled, all things will be controlled. Like fishes, everywhere in pond, in the ocean, in rivers, some fishermen taking buns in their hands, a stick and <coughs> and they make some flesh in that and they find it. So by test, this is not in control. See at once jumps and takes. And what becomes? They try to roll. <laughs> coming and again living and after some time she is tired and she it takes and cooks <laughs> <laughs> so we should try to control all this time don't speak anything which is wrong always control bark big if your bark way is control Everything. Then there will be no offense of Vaishnava, Nam, Namaparat, or anything. <coughs> then, <coughs> oh, he is telling Pingala Nam Vishya. In ancient call, ancient time, in Videh Nagari, where Raja Janak Vidhi used to be, and there was a prostitute, Shamraj. Om Ajnanam Timirandasya Gyanam Jana Salakaya Chaksuram Nalitam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak about the next of the 24 Gurus of Shiksha Gurus as of Avadut Dattatreya and he's telling King Yadu that Pingala Vesh, Pingala Prostitute is another of my gurus. So I'll read the verse. O best among men, the king, this prostitute was very anxious to get money and she stood on the street at night and as she did so, she studied all the men who were passing by thinking, oh, this one will surely have money. I know he can pay the price, and I'm sure he would enjoy my company very much. Thus, she thought about all the men in the street. But one man came and went by her as though she wasn't there. And then another, and in order to attract them, seeing that they were going by her, she would take very beautiful poses in different ways, and nothing was working. So gradually, she became so unhappy at her failures, that within her heart some detachment started manifesting. Failure is the pillar of success. Our Srila Prabhupada in his books used to quote Pingala prostitute as the example. Then as the detachment came in her heart, she started remembering the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And she said to herself, just see how greatly illusioned I am. I cannot control my mind. Just like a fool, I desire to enjoy the pleasures of insignificant men. Lakshmi also, in the sixth canto, she is teaching that what is the use of a husband who's made of a bag of skin and pus and just some hair sticking out of that piece of skin. <laughs> One should accept only the Supreme Personality of Godhead as his husband. <laughs> then she begins condemning herself. We girls have to stick together. 
Then she says, how uselessly I've tortured my soul. I have sold my body to look greedy men who themselves are objects of pity. In the second, in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, when Arjuna is complaining to Krishna, why are you asking me to fight in this war? So many bad things will happen. Women and girls are protected by their husbands and their fathers, elders, and if their husbands and elders die in the war, then they'll be subjected to the prey, to be the prey of unscrupulous men. And there in the purport, our Srila Prabhupada says that uh, unintelligent women become subject to the exploitation of unscrupulous men. So as our Prabhupada used to say, man is good, woman is good, you put them together and it's bad. <laughs> then she continues, thus practicing the most abominable profession of a prostitute, I hope to get money and sense pleasure. Certainly in this city of Adeha, now she's manifesting some very good qualities, like Srila Naratam Das Thakur, that I haven't worshipped Lord Gora, I've accepted valueless things as valuable, and valuable things like Gaur Prem and Gaur Kirtan is valueless. Instead of hearing the Harikata of saintly persons, I listen to the Prajalpa, criticism, and useless talks of materialistic persons. I've wasted my life. What is the use of such life? I might as well have died rather than to maintain this useless body. Similarly, she's now coming to that conclusion. Certainly in this city of Adeya, I am the most foolish. This is the qualification of a devotee to get mercy. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is petite pavan. And I am the most petite. I am the most fallen. Therefore, my claim is first. In our song, Sri Guru Charana Padma, the last line, Ebe Yash Gushuk Tribhuvana, your glories are spread all over the three worlds. Srila Gurudev gave a very deep further meaning of this that I am so fallen, nobody could save me, I'm so unqualified. If you'll deliver me, then you'll become famous all over the three worlds as the most savior of the most fallen. Then she comes to accept the glory and she's developing affection for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I neglect it by lamenting. Lamentation is purification as our acharyas teach us. I neglected the Supreme Personality of Godhead who awards us everything, even our original spiritual form. And instead, I desire to enjoy sense gratification with many men. Men provide sense gratification for women, but all these men, and even the demigods in heaven, have a beginning and an end. They are all temporary creations who will be dragged away by time. Therefore, how much actual pleasure or happiness can any of them give their wives? There's no difference between the sex pleasure in heaven, on earth, and in the animal kingdom. In 1969 in Boston, our Srila Prabhupada told the story of one man who was very lusty, even though he was married to a very chaste, wonderful, submissive wife. And he desired a very expensive prostitute. So knowing about this, that chaste wife, went to the prostitute's house when she wasn't home, and she began cleaning. So the prostitute returned and said, what are you doing? And she said, I want the opportunity for my husband to enjoy you. So she said, you don't realize how expensive I am. Finally, the lady worked for her until she became a prostitute, made so much money, and gave that money to her husband, and her husband went to the prostitute. So that prostitute already knew who that man was and liked his wife very much. So generally in a prostitute's house, they first serve a dinner, very tasteful dinner to the man, and then they engage in their business. So she served him the same food in a brass pot and the same food in a golden pot. And he said, what is this? She said, just taste it and tell me what you think. So he said, tasted it, and he said, well, they, it tastes exactly the same. Why did you put it in the two pots? So she said, you are such a rascal. 
that you think that sense gratification is the same, is different in me and in your wife, when the taste is actually the same. And then our Prabhupada said the taste is the same in heaven, on earth, and in hell. So because of this pingala prostitute's frustration, that turned into detachment, which later on turned into affection for the Lord, and concluded that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the only source of love and happiness. So, a sadhak should always remember this Pingala history. Asahi paramam dukham, nairasyam paramam sukham, jasantid kantasa, sukham suspa. Select his all worldly desire <coughs> and began to think that oh, Krishna is very near in heart. I had not tried to please him, <coughs> but these persons who will die one day, what happiness they have given to me? Nothing. They have buried my body in joy. I became of them and lost everything. Anyhow, by the mercy of Krishna, I have now Vairasyam, Vairagya. And this Vairagya will take me to Krishna. So he left his door, went to sleep, and very well slept, and she became Afterward, a good devotee. <coughs> so we should always remember this history and try to be very careful. What Avadhu Dattatriya has told, and Krishna again he has told to Uddha. Why he has told? Oh, you will have to detach from this fire. No asakti. And give your whole heart, all of heart, everything to please Krishna. Life is short. But Arthadam, oh, it can give from Artha, even Dasya Pradika, highest, it can give. Only we can. And we don't know when it will go, when death will come. So with whole effort and energy, you should give to Krishna consciousness. <coughs>